Hello folks, I'm back again with Amnesia Part 2. So what I just done in the last episode was read the note from Daniel to Daniel about Daniel. Yeah. Okay, let's continue on. <sighs> so this bookshelf looked mighty suspicious. I thought, hell, I'll open it up. So I did. Let's go. Entrance hall? Oh no, I don't like the sound of this. Oh god, let's go. It's wonderful. Traveling to Dover meant going to Canterbury. He made sure to pay a visit to avoid the sense of guilt connected with neglect to the family. Wow, he's a really nice guy. It's a pity I never knew him. <gasps> Whoops, a daisy. Whoops, a daisy. Oh. Oh no. Alexander, is it inside the castle? No. In a manner of speaking. Oh. Come, bring the lamp. You'll bring to the refinery. Love lamp? Have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? Blood. The inner sanctum. Oh yeah, yeah, that's it. My that's the one. precious chamber, Daniel. Yeah, I'm sorry. It lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Brennenburg. Like Brennan's bread. <sighs> Sounds delish. Okay. Let's go down here. Let's see what all the us and fuss is up down here. Oh. Oh my. It is tough and blind and can be torn by hand or tools. Hmm. Okay. Can't be torn by hand or tools, I should say. Excuse my French. Some sort of organic tissue blocks the path to the refinery. Can it be dissolved? I don't know. Tell me, game. You tell me. You tell me. Let's go. Let's continue down here. Laboratory. And wine cellar. Mmm, both delicious. Let's go. Let's go to the laboratory first. The door slammed shut behind him and he knew you'd never again see the old tailor at Berkeley Square. An old alone soul in London. Seemed appropriate somehow. I suppose it did, son. I suppose it did. Oh. Oh, I don't like this. Oh. Get a candle lit up in here. Oh, no. Let's continue on. Hello? Hello? Oh, I think I see oil. Give me that. I'll take it. Would you please stop that? You really creep me out. Let's continue on. The flicker of the bluish light. Don't know what that means. Sounds like poetry, though. Let's read this. The lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less able ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I should do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. Okay, looks like I'm going to the wine cellar now in a second. Oh, oh, flashback. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, there should be more Kubrat. Aquafortis. Aquafortis. Or forts. Either one is the same, I suppose. Okay, let's do this. This is my third attempt to produce artificial fate. The former compounds lack the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and orbitmen are a given, and cuprite binds them well. This time I'll attempt aqua regia instead of aquafortis, and hope it'll produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acidic and proves impractical to put any use except as detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violent to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I'll find an alchemic solution in my predicament. Oh. Oh. God. What are we up to, honestly? Okay. Chemistry pot, I'll have you. Thank you very much. I'll take that tender box. I need a good few. I'm wasting up. Okay, and that's it. Excuse me. Thank you. 
One day I will return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I'm able to think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them. They just lust for power without restraint, where I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. If this is Daniel speaking, he's a fair man, I must say. Is that another tinderbox? I think it is. Come on, take it. There we go. Thank you. Okay, so it looks like we're off to the wine cellar, to, unless I didn't miss anything down here. Oh, I did. That's the oil. I'll take that. That looks scary down there. Let's go. I'm just gonna light up the place. Let's continue on. Okay, so it's a wine cellar. fell to the kitchen floor, tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in his stomach. Ouch! Hazel remained hidden, in fear she too would be punished. Hazel is in Hazelnut Nutella? I hope so. Oh! Oh no! Oh my god, leave her alone! Oh. Oh, uh, must be some ghosts. Sorry! You just go ahead and kick the head off each other, I'm fine. It's cool. Oh, and the key. Oh, I need a key. Where could the key be? Find the key for the wine cellar. That doesn't tell me much, but okay, I'll do it. Let's go. I can't go in there. Have a check down here. It's blocked off. That's where it came from. Pretty sure. I oh, know it's not. I'll check it out. Mm, blocked off as well. Funny, had a bit of butter, so I could squeeze through there. Sadly, I don't. Archives. A fragrant taste of rose lingered in his mouth. Turkish delights, he thought. Just like the ones at the consulate in Constantinople. Hey, I read you already. Why are you still popping up? Not happy. Not a happy bunny. Okay. This looks this looks sinister. I'd be lying if I said this didn't look sinister. Why does this look so damn sinister? Okay. 16th of May, 1839. Go on, Daniel. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. What a god! Interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Mmm, delish. No, nothing in there, nothing in there, and nothing in there. Okay, folks, I'm going to end the episode here, but hope you enjoyed it anyways. I'll see you in part three. Cha-cha for now.